once we have the CDS view, then we need to create the DCL or the access control. So in order to create the access control, you need to right click on the Core Data Services, New, and instead of clicking Data Definition, you have to click the Access Control. So we give the name GAC. Okay, I have Flight Schedule, and then I'll name it as um, Access Control for Airline. For Access Control for Airlines. So and then click next i'll choose a transport and then hit finish so this is your access control which gets generated with some template so here you need to replace the entity with the cds view name and here you need to give your own conditions so what will happen is if a cds view has the authority check enabled that is equal to check then it will look for this uh, role or uh, access control and then if the condition the where condition satisfies only then those data will be displayed in the cds view so let's now replace our cds entity name so cds entity name is this one we want to impose uh, the authority check in this cds view therefore we'll re replace it and then i want to comment this too so to comment you can just hit this so this comments the line and then i will give my own where clause so in the where clause, let's see what are the, so I want to restrict it only for SQ, say for Singapore Airlines. So what I'll do, I'll write care ID equals to SQ. That means only for the Singapore Airlines and then I will end it with the column. All right. So there is no warnings. I'll just activate it. So if I activate it, so you look at the bottom, it's getting activated. It's green and there is no star mark. Now let us go back to the CDS view and check whether this access control has been implied or enforced in the CDS view or not. Before that, we need to check whether this annotation authorization check has been enabled to hash check or not. So if it was not hash checked, say by default it was like not allowed, say, and then I activate it. Now I want to test it. So if I press F8, or you can go to the CDS view, right click, and then go to open with, and then data preview. So it's same as F8. So you see that the authorization check is not applied. So what happened? Because you said here that authorization check is not allowed. Therefore, it did not look into the corresponding um, DCL for that CDS. Therefore, it did not restrict the display of the data. Now, let us change this back to checked okay i say check and activate so once it is activated let us test the data one more time i am hitting f8 if i press f8 look here what happened it's showing me the output only for care id which is marked as sq or which is coming from singapore why did it happen because in the access control we have hard coded it as care id is equal to sq so only those data which has the this condition satisfied which, which means the the carrier is from singapore on this cds view that data will be displayed as per this role all right so let me reiterate what i said so what we did was we created a cds view and then we make this annotation access control authorization check as hash check and then we created a dcl or the data control for that corresponding CDS and then we said that only show me the carrier ID which is from Singapore. Now when we execute this CDS it says that okay I need to by default check the authorization and how it goes it goes and looks for all the um, it looks for the authorization control which is tied to this CDS so it finds here and then it executes the query and then restricts it according to the condition. So this access control does a select on the CDS view with a where condition SQL. So whenever the CDS is executed, this access control runs automatically and gives you the restricted data output.